greetings and salutations to all of my fellow patrons out there in Patreon land. Still don't know how I'm going to start these videos, but we'll just leave that one at that. Um, in today's video, we're going to check out Eminem Walk on Water. And well, actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna leave this in, by the way. Now that I think about it, I should just keep it normal because I might cycle these through or funnel these into the YouTube channel. But I still want to shout you guys out, so I'll figure it out. Anyways, um, yeah, Eminem, Walk on Water. Now, I wasn't aware of the controversy that surrounded this song or the release of uh, what album was this on? This was uh, Revival. So I, I wasn't aware. Um, I know you guys have told me a little bit in the comment section. And then when I listened and watched Fall, there was those text messages that popped up. Um, and, uh, yeah, because you guys had mentioned the song and it was mentioned in the uh, music video of fall, uh, I kind of put the correlation together, especially with the whole walk on Watergate thing, which some of you guys, like not you guys, if you're on YouTube, you guys, if you're on Patreon, not you guys, but, uh, yeah, it seemed like it was a little misconstrued. Um, like the whole me understanding the Watergate thing. I don't know. I need to stop addressing some of this stuff, man. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna learn. It's still a brand new channel, two months old. Anyways, okay. I am excited for this one. I don't know what to expect, and I don't know if this is the right song to uh, you know introduce to the Patreon audience. Um, I was actually going to do the MGK and Eminem beef. Um, because I haven't heard any of those songs. I just knew some of the headlines and the back and forths and whatever Joe Budden was saying at the time um, because I was I was a fan of that podcast. But um, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm excited, man. I just, because of how controversial this was, I don't know. I'm going to find out, I guess. I'm going to find out why it was controversial. I'm just hoping that like there's some redeeming qualities and you know what I'm a I'm gonna approach this like I didn't hear anything this is just a brand new song I have never heard the song it's just let's just get right into it the sound stage why our expectations so high is it the bar I set my arms I stretch but I can't reach a far cry from it or it's in my grass but as soon as I grab squeeze I lose my grip like the flying trapeze Into the dark I plummet Now the sky's blackening I know the mark's high But flies rip apart my stomach Knowing that no matter what bars I come with You're gonna hark gripe And that's a hard fight getting to swallow So I scrap these This pressure increases like khakis I feel the ice cracking Because Okay, we're gonna rewind that Because that's like a little bit of a roller coaster, man He was on and then he was off I did like some of the multis there, though. Um, but then it sounded like he was going to change it into a different rhyme scheme. And then he went back to the old rhyme scheme. So it, it's kind of it's kind of confusing. It threw me off. I, uh, I'm going to rewind it and see if I can process Why it. are expectations so high? Is it the bar I set? My arms I stretch, but I can't reach. A far cry from it, or it's in my grass, but as soon as I... Oh, okay. Hold on. The extra syllable's throwing me off, too. A far cry from it. Um, it's throwing me off. Let's rewind it. Why are expectations so high? Is it the bar I set? My arms I stretch, but I can't reach. A far cry from it, or it's in my grass, but as soon as I grab, squeeze... I lose my grip like the flying trapeze Into like the that. dark I plummet Now the sky's blackening I know the mark's high But flies rip apart my stomach Knowing that no matter what bars I come with You're gonna heart mm, gripe like that. That's a hard fight getting 
what bars I come with. I like that. And then he mentions the, you know, the pills. Okay, so let's let's continue. Now the sky's blackening. I know the mark's high, butter flies rip apart my stomach, knowing that no matter what bars I come with, you go. Oh, butter butterflies rip apart his stomach. I like that. I just caught that on the rewind. Okay, so yeah, but, but when he said butter, I was like, why didn't he just say but I? Because that's what would have rhymed better. Um, but uh, anyways, okay, if it's, if it's. Squeeze, I lose my grip like the flying trapeze into the dark I plummet. Now the sky's blackening, I know the mark's high, butter flies rip apart my stomach, knowing that no matter what. Okay, sorry guys, this one's sloppy already, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not typically the type to pause for everything, but this is kind of throwing me off a little bit. Uh, the vocals, the female vocals were really good, um, but let's continue. I'm going to stay optimistic. My arms I stretch, but I can't reach. A far cry from it, or it's in my grasp, but as soon as I grab squeeze, I lose my grip like the flying trapeze into the dark I plummet. Now the sky's blackening. I know the mark's high, but flies rip apart my stomach, knowing that no matter what bars I come with, you're going to heart gripe, and that's a hard fight getting to swallow. So I scrap these. This pressure increases like khakis. I feel the ice cracking because I walk on water, but I know Jesus. I walk on water, but only when it freezes. I really like that line. Um, you know, it's really hard to to label um eminem man it's like sometimes you feel like he has this god complex and then he has so a song like this where so far he's uh very human like he's like he's showing his his uh his humanity here he's being vulnerable which i always appreciate and i think when somebody is being vulnerable you shouldn't always trash it, and I think there's a, there's a, an appropriate approach um, to critiquing a song, and you know, he, with him being so vulnerable, like you have to take some things with a grain of salt and let things slide, because that within itself is you know that holds more weight than a bar, than a creative line or a terrible line for that matter, so. Man, I don't know what critics he was listening to. Maybe some people bashed him for this, dude. But um, that sucks to hear. That sucks to hear. I think that there's a, there's a, a the correct approach would be, hey man, love the sentiments. I, I love that you did this. I love that you did that. Um, but uh, you know, maybe the patterning was a little bit off kilter. I think that's pretty simple, right? It's like, hey man, thank you so much. This was actually, you know, a good story or a, some good insight. But, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue. But yeah, that line is really dope. It's like, you know, he, he doesn't, he walks on water, yeah, but only when it freezes. Like, he's not a god. He's, he's human. It's, uh, it's cool. I like that line. It's the curse of the standard that the first of the Mathers disc set. Always in search of the verse that I haven't spit yet. Mm. Will this step just be another misstep mm. to tarnish whatever the legacy lover respect? Mm. I've garnered. The rhyme has to be perfect. The delivery flawless. Mm. And it always feels like I'm hitting the mark till I go sit in the car, listen and pick it apart. Mm. Like this shit is garbage. Mm. God's given me all this. Still, I feel... Man, I can relate to that so much, dude. That is, that is dope. I love how that was all worded. It was perfect. It was seamless, concise, and it, uh, it was relatable to me. So, man, I like that. And there might be, a, like, a hidden scheme there. I might be reaching for him, too, but uh, I'll explain it if I hear it again. The first of the Mathers disc set, always in search of the verse that I haven't spit yet. Will this step just be another misstep to tarnish whatever the legacy lover respect? I've garnered, the rhyme has to be perfect, the delivery flawless, and it always feels like I'm hitting the mark till I go sit in the car, listen and pick it apart, like this shit is garbage, God's given me all this, still I feel no different regardless, kids look to me as a god, this is retarded, if only they knew, it's a facade and it's exhaustive. When I said that I was reaching for him, uh, I definitely was. Uh, when he said the whole, uh, sit in the car, pick it apart, this shit is garbage. 
Um, I don't know if you guys have ever been to like pick a part where you go and look at all the parts that are garbage or scrapped or salvaged and then you just yeah you just kind of pick through it pick it apart I don't know like I said I must have been reaching or I heard something different but um that would have been cool if he would have been able to do that on that one I think that would have been a cool little scheme and I try not to listen to nonsense but if you bitches are trying to strip me of my confidence mission accomplished I'm not Godson Nas Rock Kim Pac Big James Todd Smith and I'm not Prince so. Todd Smith is uh, LL Cool J, for for those of you that don't know. Let's rewind that up again. I like that. Car, listen and pick it apart. Like this shit is garbage. God's given me all this. Still, I feel no different regardless. Kids look to me as a god. This is retarded. If only they knew. It's a facade and it's exhaustive. And I try not to listen to nonsense. But if you bitches are trying to strip me of my confidence, mission accomplished. That sucks, man. I'm not Godson, Nas, Rakim, Pac, Big, James, Todd Smith, and I'm not Prince. So. Yeah, Rakim, the God, man, the God MC. Um, Nas, of course, Pac, great storyteller. Um, big, unpopular opinion. I'm not a huge Big fan. I think he was a little overrated, in my opinion. Some of you guys might get mad at that. I, I think the, the best Big um, or rapper that had Big... And their name um, is reserved for just two people. There might be a few more that I'm not thinking about, but that is Big Pun and Big L. Those are my two favorite big uh, rappers. So, anyways, let's continue. Kim Pac, Big James Todd Smith, and I'm not Prince. So. There's a high-pitched note that just was introduced that I really, really love. Great support. It's great support. Hold on. I need to, I need to hear that again. When it only when it freezes, cause I'm only human, oh, like just like you, making my mistakes. So oh, if you only knew, I don't think you should believe. I'm a Rubik's, a beautiful mess, at times juvenile, yes, I goof and I jest, a flawed human, I guess, but I'm doing my best to not ruin your expectations and meet him, but first, the speed him verse, now Big Sean, he's going too fast, is he gonna shout or curse out his mom? There was a time I had the world by the balls eating out my palm. Every album song I was spazzing the fuck out on, and now I'm getting clowned and frowned on. But the only one who's looking down on me that matters now's Deshaun. Am I lucky to be around this long? So, like, you know, when you look down on somebody, it's like you, you kind of pity them, you feel bad for them, or you think that you're better than them. Um, and that's what he's saying people were doing with him. But the only person that matters that's looking down on him. And the other sense is uh, proof from from the clouds, which I, I like that. That's dope. It's beautiful. Every album song I was spazzing the fuck out on, and now I'm getting clowned and frowned on. But the only one who's looking down on me that matters now's Deshaun. Am I lucky to be around this long? Begs the question though, especially after the methadone is yesterday fades and the Dresden home is burnt to the ground and all that's left of my house is lawn. The crowds are gone and it's time to wash out. Now's Deshaun. He said Dresden home. <clears throat> Am I lucky to be around this long? Begs the question though, especially after the methadone is yesterday fades and the Dresden home is burnt to the ground and all that's left of my Dresden. Now, this is a deep cut, man, as far as music is concerned. But uh, I know who the Dresden Dolls are. Do you? This is coming from a hip-hop head, remember? Remember? Well, music lover first and foremost, but hip-hop was my first love. 
Okay. Um, don't know what dressed in home means, <clears throat> but I'm guessing it's, um, let me uh, listen to it again, man. I don't know. I was, I was waiting for like a bar or something and for me that matters. Now's the Sean. Am I lucky to be around this long? Begs the question though, especially after the methadone is yesterday fades and the Dresden home is burnt to the ground and all that's left of my house is- oh, He continued it. The Dresden home is burnt to the ground. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, maybe his house burned down or something. I know in, in 8 Mile he burned a house down, right? Or maybe that's not his home. Or was it his home? No. Man, it's been a while since I've seen that movie. Anyways, okay. I, I kind of get part of the picture. Blonde, the crowds are gone. And it's time to wash out the blonde. Sales decline. The curtain's drawn. They're closing the set. I'm still poking my head from out behind. And everyone who has doubt, remind. Now take your best rhyme. I'll do it. Now do it a thousand times. Mm. Now let them tell you the world no longer cares or gives a fuck about your rhymes. And as I grow out of sight, out of mind, I might go out of mind. Cause how do I ever let this mic go without a fight? When I made a fucking tight rope out of twine? Mm. But when I do That's fall hard. from these heights, though I'll be fine. I won't powder cry or spiral down a wine. But I'll decide if it's my final bow this time around. Cause I'll mm. I like how that was ended. I'm just a man, but as long as I got a mic, I'm godlike. So me and you are not a like bitch. I wrote Stan. Okay, M. Okay. Uh, not a like is a song that I know you guys have wanted me to react to. So maybe that was like a transition into not a like. Um, but yeah, a little bit of his god complex came back at the end of that one. Um, well deserved, man. I think that he should have one. I mean, in some instances... You know, I'm like, I go back and forth, dude, because he is amazing. He's been amazing. I think he's been more consistent than most other hip hop uh, artists that have made music throughout the same or similar duration of time. Um, I think that it's really hard for them to stay with uh, hip hop as it evolves over the years, who's been doing an amazing job of it lately. Not only just Eminem, because he's definitely released some really good stuff that I've reacted to on the channel, is Nas. Nas is killing it, man. His his latest albums, King's Disease, um, I, what number is he on now? I remember he did one and two. But yeah, super dope, super dope. Um, this was interesting. I can see where some of the criticism came from. It's definitely the patterning. It's definitely the little weird pauses and the changes of the, like, where the, not the punch, but where the the scheme should begin and where the scheme, rhyme scheme, should end. Um, a little off kilter, but it was a good song as a whole. I think it was a good song. I think it gave us some insight. It was very introspective and... I think it kind of acted more so like a bridge for him to get his points across and feelings across to us or to his fan base or just the, the listeners in general. And um, yeah, because of a lot of the humility that he showed, you have to respect it, man. You have to respect it. I don't know where this one goes. I don't know because usually a no-lister is a song that I don't want to hear again, like ever, right? A blacklisted song is one that I regret hearing and I never want to hear again. 
A playlist, or obviously, there's some replayability there. Okay. I like that the chorus evolved, right? It wasn't fully introduced to us in the beginning of the song. So that was cool. I like that touch. Um, and then more context was added, the whole I'm human just like you, which I had spoke on before it was introduced. Um, man. This is a toss-up, man. If it was just a little bit cleaner, this would be a playlister for sure. For sure. Okay, you know what? I I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to. Yeah. I'm going to add this to a playlist, man. I think because of its significance, because of him, you know, kind of displaying his humanity, which he doesn't typically do a lot, you know? Uh, he does, but here he's kind of like, you know, he's kind of explaining to you and justifying, like, why he feels the way that he feels, like, and, and how much it hurts him, you know, and what he struggles with mentally when he's making music. So, because of those subtle nuances, I think that this, this goes on a playlist, for sure. I don't know how frequently I would listen to this song. But um, I definitely like this a lot more than a few other songs, for sure. But yeah, the off-kilter rhyming, I don't know. But the significance of the song itself, I'm putting this on my playlist. This probably doesn't make yours, and that is perfectly okay. Um, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end it on that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend it with me. And I do hope to catch you all on the next video.